Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The amendment seeks to clarify two parts of the underlying bill. As you might recall, the underlying bill seeks to enable the VA's Veterans Crisis Line, the VCL, to be even more effective in our collaborative fight to prevent veteran suicide. As we discussed last week, 20 veterans a day die from suicide. The VCL has done very important work to help veterans by fielding over two and a half million calls among other interactions. However, in this information age, the power of data analytics can greatly help us achieve uh, further goals of holistic care for our veterans. The underlying bill would require the VA to use already collected data to give us quantitative insight into the VCL's integration into the entirety of the VA's mental health care services. Our veterans were vigilant in fighting for our freedoms, and we must be just as vigilant in addressing their needs. Through discussions with veteran service organizations after the testimony last week, I learned of their concern for veterans' information privacy in the draft bill. I thank them for their feedback and uh, for looking out for our veterans, and I wholeheartedly support preserving the current privacy protections and seek to maintain them. That is precisely why this bill, ever since its initial draft form, did not change the nature of the phone conversations. Veterans who wish to are still able to maintain anonymity, and it's absolutely essential that they be free to do so. But because I am committed to this, as the veteran service organizations are as well, and because I don't want to leave any room for any misinterpretation by the VA, I have added in this amendment a section to explicitly prohibit any such interpretation. The amendment I'm currently offering simply changes the wording of that added section. Another concern that was brought to my attention through discussions with the VA and veteran organizations is in regards to the content of the study. The concern is that the bill may inadvertently be too prescriptive. I completely agree that there is further important content that the VA should provide to Congress re regarding the VCL, and that is why the first component of this amendment ensures the Secretary has the latitude to include additional analytics and other relevant information regarding the VCL. So in conclusion, um, as you know, one veteran suicide a day is a horrible tragedy, let alone 20. The VCL is a critical tool already in our fight to help lower this rate, and we must do everything that we can to help it play an even larger role or as large of a role as possible. We must ensure that our veterans know that they are not alone after the phone call, and that's why I ask my colleagues to support this amendment to H.R. 4173, and with that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Thanks, gentlemen, for yielding, and 